everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashling and today I am joined with a very, very important guest. This is Lauren Murphy. She is the UK top makeup artist and also the Nivea cleansing expert. She is your go-to woman when it comes to cleansing and taking care of the skin. I'm just gonna ask the questions to Lauren that you guys submitted and we'll go through all of your, your queries and hopefully answer them for you guys. Let's get stuck in. Yeah, one of my subscribers has asked, how many times a week should you use a face mask? Okay, well it really depends on what face mask you're using. Personally, I love a hydrating um, mask because you can put them on overnight. So okay. I might use that three times a week. So you would leave this on all night? Yes. Oh, that's okay. a good idea. Make sure that you have thoroughly cleansed your skin. Okay. That is key. Now I always do a double cleanse because especially if you're wearing makeup, cleanse the makeup off first. So I use the um, Nivea Micellar Water. It is a fantasy product. But what I love is that it's so soft and gentle, but it does the job and it does it really quickly. The cellar technology actually attracts to the makeup like a magnet, so it will lift the makeup gently away from the skin. That's great. So it's really good for people who obviously are a bit lazy and <laughs> <laughs> maybe don't want to go through all the effort of, you know, maybe yes. using a, like a ton of different steps. The micellar water kind exactly. of works. And it's great for sensitive skin, so it will help to calm any redness in the skin. It really That's brilliant. Just, yeah, soothe and refresh the skin. And then it will just lift away the dirt oh. and the oil build up because our skin produces oil. This is why it's one of my favorites. That's so great. So that is a brilliant product that so you guys should definitely pick that one up. Yeah. And then you put your hydrating mask on then three times a week so, after you've double cleansed. Yeah, mm -hmm. so that's if I'm using a hydrating mask, I'll use that before I go to bed, double cleanse, pop on the hydrating mask and leave it on overnight. That's great. So in the morning I wake up and my skin is nice and firm. Oh my god. Because hydration yeah. is all about adding moisture, adding that water back into the yeah. skin. So you remove the oil. You don't yes. create any more oil. You, yeah. you need oils in your skin to keep it nice. To keep them and yeah, exactly. and, and plump looking exactly. as well. Yeah. But what everyone seems to lack is hydration, which is water. Okay. So that's why I love like hydrating masks. So that's I would use that three times a week. If you're using a mask that's actually drawing out some impurities, um, then once a week is fine. And the next question I have for you is, what's the best way to treat and prevent spots? Again, I'm going to come back to cleansing because mm -hmm. skincare is so important. Skincare, having great skincare, balances out the skin and that is what it's all about. So no one's got perfect skin, some people have got oily, combination, dry, so many you know, different skin types. There is, so that is what your skincare is all about, is finding the correct skincare for you to balance that and even out the skin. So when you're producing a lot of oil, you need to be making sure that you're not using anything again too astringent. If you're overproducing oil, that's when the pores are going to become blocked and then you're mm. going to start um, getting breakouts. Now that's my biggest issue because I have oily skin. When you suffer with oily skin or breakouts and so that, you tend to want to scrub away. This is it, like I'm starting to start like stripping yeah. the skin back. But actually, but that's gonna, you're making it work. Yes, because you're going to get more oil as well. So cleansing again is going to help to minimise pores. Yeah. So it's, you know, blackheads are actually just like oxidised dead skin cells dirt and, and dirt and oil. Yeah, so for so not your, cleaning your skin. Yeah, exactly. So as long as you're cleansing thoroughly, that will one help to you know minimise breakouts yeah. definitely. Um, also, taking care of yourself from inside. Yes, we were talking so, about this myself and Lauren because we were saying not yes. only is it important to look after your diet yes. and your skincare and not be covering everything up with makeup. Yes, exactly. You know? I mean, everyone always kind of looks for um, results yeah. in makeup. It's so boring, it's so boring, but drink lots of water. It, 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 it's it's true. It just helps your skin yeah. so much, and I've even noticed that in the last few years, exactly. drinking more water, it's yeah. just, it's it's the best way to actually exactly. take care of your skin from the inside out. Yeah, then you've got, you know, like treatments for when you do have breakouts, so aloe vera gel is great to be okay. in the skin. You can have home remedies, like if you use a little bit of lemon juice, there you, you go. just I didn't know that tap then. that on. Because the acid of the Yeah, exactly. It's just, um, it's got quite soothing properties and it just helps to yeah. calm the inflammation. You still need to moisturise even if yes. you get breakouts yeah. because when you're going to apply that makeup, if you've got a breakout and it's a bit dry, dry yeah, the, the makeup's going to sit and clog around the yeah. spots. That's so, happened to me a few times. Yeah. We've yeah. Been, yeah. What skincare routine would you follow if you're oily, which also have dry flaking practice? So I think we kind of covered when we were talking about that yeah. as well. 
So there's not one skin type, you know, even though yeah, you're oily. No, you there's still not one get. skin type. You can have a really oily T zone and you might kind of get dry patches yeah. here or even on the forehead. So sometimes you need to kind of face map with your skincare yeah. products, you know, and target specific areas. Okay. So you might want to use like a, say like a purifying mask. So or would you recommend like maybe really? like a purifying mask for maybe the areas that you're yeah. a bit oily and, and then, then maybe a hydrating mask? Definitely. For Okay. For the dry areas to kind of put that in. And don't forget with like dry flaky skin, you need to be exfoliating. Yeah, yeah that's you know, it. Exfoliating. But don't use anything that's too harsh, just a real gentle yeah. exfoliator, just yeah. to lift away the dry yeah. acid cells. And then when you do have combination skin or perhaps dry and oily, okay. you still need to be moisturising the skin. Yeah. But perhaps opt for something that doesn't have oil in yeah. and just focus on a hydrating moisturiser that's a good idea. because that is going to help it's the great, dryness great idea. and it's still going to help balance yeah. the oily area. That's a great idea because actually some of my followers did say do I need to be buying two different moisturisers yeah. so a moisturiser that will combat both the dryness. Hydrated, yeah. Okay. Focus on hydration. So Absolutely. what age should you start using start using anti-aging products? Now this is a thing that even I am wondering about as well. I've been using eye cream since I was probably about 19 or 20. Is that yes. too young or no, no? I I never think it's too young for eye okay. cream personally because your eyes are a very delicate area. This is it. So they, are. they can also get dehydrated. If you're thinking of um, like serums eye creams, definitely I don't think there's a particular age you have to use them, yeah. okay, you don't have to perhaps at a young age yes. go for a targeted I get you, because they can be a bit more expensive as well, yeah, those products. Can. But I think using an eye cream in general is great, okay. because you're still hydrating that area. So would you say and late teens for the eye creams, or yes, early twenties? And I, okay. if, you're wearing, um, if you're wearing concealer under the eyes, then use an eye cream. That's because, it's a good idea. We think of the concealer yes. and how to cover up these things. We don't actually think of maybe using an eye cream at night that yes. might actually help a little and bit more. And what you can find is that some um, concealers might kind of crease, sit in any kind yeah. of fine lines that yeah. we have. And a great little tip if you suffer with puffy eyes is to just pop the eye cream in the fridge for a little while. If you're 16, you don't need to worry about aging yeah. right now, but prevention is always better than this cure. This is it, and I always say yeah. that even in my videos, you know, take care of these things now while you can, you know, uh, because you, later in life, it's like, why didn't I just start using an eye cream when I was, you know, 19 yeah. or 20, you know? And that's it, but I think as long as you're cleansing and moisturizing the skin, you're taking yeah. care of your skin. Yeah. And if you start to feel that you, you know, perhaps, 20s that you want to start kind of looking at anti-aging products then great i mean yeah. antioxidants on the skin is what helps yes you exactly know, keep them combat and fighting so, yeah, yeah exactly. aging so there's nothing wrong yeah. with using that okay lauren so which is better a cream or a foam foaming cleanser or do you need both all uh, right so this comes down to your skin type yeah so foaming cleansers can tend to work better for more oily skin okay um and I would stick to a cream cleanser okay. for more mature skin. Okay. This is like a two in one um, cleanser and toner. And this is great because it's for like more normal to combination skin because it is pretty versatile. Yeah. I think cream cleansers I would always use on a more mature skin. And I okay. know my mum does. Um, is a facial cleansing wipe the same as using a cleanser or toner? Now, I know myself, you know, when you come in from a night out, it should be much more. You'd go for the wipe yes. quicker, wouldn't you? <laughs> because you don't, you know, sitting there and taking it off, and you just want to get into bed. But are they the no, same? No. Or tell, they are tell not the same. Okay, they so are tell everybody the why they're not the same. The um, I use the Nivea Micella wipes. They are great for on the go cleansing. They're yeah. really soft and gentle on the skin, but they're not going to totally clean the skin. You need to be double cleansing, especially yeah. when you're wearing makeup, which you would be on yeah, a night. Yeah, yeah. So you're thinking the micellar water then again yes. to go back and in. It's honestly no difference in time. It's no. just the fact that it's one pack yeah, and I just know. grab it. Yeah, I know. Like, it's, it's more laziness. It so is like, laziness yeah. because you have to grab some cotton pads <laughs> yeah. as well as the micellar water. It is but just it's, laziness. It, yeah, but do you know what, my tip is just have it by your bedside table. Yeah, you're right. There. No, you are right. I have like, it by your toothbrush. I know. You're going to go and clean the yeah, It's true. Table. So don't go and take a wipe and clean your face <laughs> and think it's doing the same thing as double cleansing. No, you need to just double cleanse. Get yeah. the makeup off and then really yeah. clean the skin. Your skin needs to breathe and your skin repairs itself yeah. at night. Yeah. So you do need to be allowing it. To um, so what is the best way to make dull, dry skin appear more glowy and radiant? Dull skin is just probably a lot of dead skin cells. Yeah. 
So definitely exfoliate the skin, lifting away any of the dead surface skin yeah. cells. So clean that skin, skin to yeah. So cleansing, um, that's going to help lift. And when you're exfoliating and cleansing, you know, use your hands, use the yeah. circular motion. That's going to help the blood flow to the area. Yeah. Yeah. And then also with um, makeup, using a radiant. Yeah, 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 exactly. That's a good idea. There's actually quite a few primers on the market now, and you'll get different coloured ones. Yes, I see them. They kind of lift your skin tone. So I know Mac do them. Um, there's a few brands now that yeah. do them, and Laura Mercer does a really great like yes. radiant primer. So, that. so work with your makeup to kind of lift and kind of colour correct those yeah. areas. If you've got quite sallow skin, you know, you need yeah. to be lifting that. It is a good idea but, because we don't we don't think of that sometimes that maybe even the primer that you use can help to yeah, make your definitely. skin a bit more glowy. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so Lana, I actually have a question for you myself personally. Okay. Um, I have kind of relatively sensitive eyes. I've actually noticed that in the last couple of months my eyes become very like stinging and they feel dry. I don't know if I'm overusing certain products or whatever, but how would you recommend me to take my eye makeup off now at night? So I use the Nivea Summer Fix. Is my favourite product. I absolutely love this and I cannot stop raving about it. Yeah. It's probably better than you. Wow. What I love, so this by face formula. Maybe that's one. It just looks good, good like that. Anyway, it does look good. Maybe it's that. Oh um, no, it's but the separation that looks good. Cool. Yes, you just need to shake it yeah. together. What this has corn flour extract in, so oh. which is really well known for its soothing properties. There you go. So this does not sting the eye area, it's really, Great. really gentle. Um, but what I love is it breaks down which frequency you are, right? Oh. I'm sure you wear gel eyeliner. Yes, yes, I do. I love and gel lashes. eyeliner. Yes, and yes. lashes and everything. So the you're whole packing on all of yes. that and then bread products, products and everything. Yeah, and your eyes are very delicate, yeah. so you need to be taking good care of them. Yeah. Um, and this, you just need to apply it to the bottom of pack and then hold it just for five seconds okay. and allow this product to break down the uh, waterproof mascara, gel eyeliner, so you don't have to rub your eyes. I use this backstage a lot, and the reason I love it so much is because I can be quick with this. It removes my yes, Okay, I get that, because that's what you need. You need to be quick, you know, cool. especially in the industry. You have to work quickly, and they're not going to wait for you. Yes. So something like and that. And I might need great. to change looks quickly. Yes. So I might need to remove that eye makeup real yeah, quick and, and then just go in else. and apply, like just a you know feline flip. Yeah. It doesn't leave a really. I was going to ask you that. It doesn't leave a film on the no, eyes. So that no. Is, as long as you wipe it all off properly, that's it doesn't leave a residue. That's great. Which is great. So then I can go back in and apply a whole new look. Oh, there you go. Time One two. That. So that is clearly what's wrong with my eyes. I'm not using the right product. So thank you very yeah. much, Lauren. It's all about skin care yeah. first. Cleansing the skin thoroughly. Prepping the skin, yeah. so then you're going to create beautiful, flawless makeup. Yes, great. and great skin is a makeup in itself. Every single product that we book, one well, that you mentioned yes. in this video, we can get in our local grocery stores and pharmacies nationwide. I want to say a huge thank you to Lauren for joining me here today, and thank you so much, guys, for watching this video. And I will talk to you guys in my next video. I love you all. Bye.